Click the link below for a 30 day free trial of Audible. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? This your boy Daffy, and I must confess, man, I gotta start this video off on a bad note. I capped. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I lied to y'all, man, and I really, I, I, I rarely ever lie to y'all. Pretty much, I, I never do, really. Um, so for those that know, a couple of months ago, I made a video. And I said this is the anime we needed this season, and I specifically was referring to Go Go Loser Ranger or Ranger Reject in some translations, and I was praising this series up and down i was blazing it i was bouncing on it doing tricks on it you saw what i'm saying uh ruben rose i can't wait to have your feet facing myself a uh, kevin gates type b you saw what i'm saying um and i gotta uh confess ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh god and i i lied i lied to y'all i'm so sorry man i try what the fuck is going on with the production of this show? Holy sh But before we start today's video, guys, please make sure you use code DAFFY10 at your next purchase at AnimeExpress.com. Please make sure that you get yourself something nice like a hoodie, a t-shirt, a Pokeball, or even like some anime-inspired lights, anything anime-related that you need. Please make sure you head on over there. Uh, link will be in the description below. Please make sure you use my code. That is DAFFY10. And yeah, let's get on to it. So here's the thing, bro. Like, the first three episodes, really first, like, five, were actually really really strong i was actually really digging the story uh that gogo -Go loser ranger was presenting i was sitting there i'm like okay so we actually have to see a bad guy defeat the good guys or whatever like that obviously the the you know the the good guys are gonna have all these darker things about them we see red ranger you know kill that guy and all these different things i'm like okay cool do we have like the monster aspect we see uh patrola in that one alley just like just don't just like killing people we're like why is he here there's some mystery there's some intrigue and i can kind of nail you ex the exact moment that i was like like, okay, wh what are we doing here? Basically, the episode with the dude with the red hair that switches with D, the second they meet up in that forest, that episode, the pacing was off. It was weird. And it just felt so rushed to me. Even their conversation that they had, it just felt, I felt like I was missing something every time they spoke a word of dialogue to each other. It was weird. Then I started looking at comments and I see people talk about, oh, well, why are they cutting out some of this uh, this dialogue and some of this, that some of the dialogue, guess, was filler. Some of it was these lighthearted moments, which is all fell all well and fine right all, all well and good uh but then we get to <laughs> i must confess to y'all man i have not watched the past three episodes probably two episodes of this show because my interest in it was totally gutted from what i call and many other people call the parking garage arc this is how you absolutely gut any interest I have in a series. Now, here's the thing. Now, it's not just the fact that this entire arc basically takes place in one area that already looks dry, drab, and just uninteresting. I, I, I'm used to yap sessions, right? I'm used to talking. I'm used to characters, you know, having a lot of dialogue discussing. For example, Windbreaker. One of the episodes of Windbreaker recently, it was literally, the, 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 the episode was called Dialogue, but it still felt very interesting to me. I actually really enjoyed it. And there is not a, a fist throw in that episode of Windbreaker, by the way. Bro, this... <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy! Not to mention the fact that the animation quality just—I don't know if they like hit a, a, a budgetary restraint or what, but, but it went from actually really, really good to these like CGI blends to straight dog piss at the very end, right? Now it's a, it, it, like—is it like Baki levels of trash? No, I wouldn't say so. Also, by the way, I'm probably making a uh, Baki slander video here soon, so make sure you you guys peep that. <laughs> Never mind the fact that they have some of these really weird uh, integrations of CGI and the characters running. Like, you had really weird instances where it looks like the characters are literally PNGs shifting back and forth sometimes when they uh, run. Also, sometimes the characters themselves are off model, which is weird because I would think for an anime of only 13 to 14 episodes that it would be a lot tighter with the animation schedule. But then again, it's it's, it's Japan. So I don't know. They got sweatshops for days out there. I have no idea what they got going on. I think one of the most frustrating parts for me that killed this season for me was D because I really liked how D was presented at first. He seemed very funny. He seemed very full of himself, but it was full of confidence, right? He was like, he takes his pride as an invader to the very tip top. I love it, right? And he still has some of that, but some of these comedic elements that he had are pretty much gone. And he's always just, he's, he's constantly saying the same thing to himself. He was just like, oh, I'm an invader. I'm going to kill everybody. I'm an invader. I'm going to kill everybody. But it's like, oh, wait, but D, do you actually want to do this? Har, har, har. Like, it, it got very predictable. And it's like, okay, like, I already know for a fact that D is actually probably not going to want to actually kill anybody. 
anybody because you can't like it's it's hard for people to write a story where the bad guys win and then you can actually get like a quote unquote good message out of it i understand it's frustrating i get it but d the past couple episodes man he has felt kind of dry and it's a little, little little weird to me now obviously you have when he steps in and he stabs patrola right because here's the thing here's the thing i tried reading ahead in the manga i really did because everybody their mom was like oh man you gotta read the manga it's so much better man listen they fucking up this adaptation they doing this adaptation dirty so you know what i did i said okay let me listen to the people let me listen to what they have to say so i sat in my bed i booted up a little, a little website <laughs> and i go stitch on myself <laughs> but boot up a little website right got to reading and i'll tell you man i was put to sleep i literally was reading these chapters and my eyelids were literally like it felt like a vice grip bro i don't give a flying fuck about any of these cadets and i really don't i hate the fact that the the, the story is trying to shoehorn them all in in the same arc you you have like eight, nine different characters. Are you trying to shoot all, shoot all? Oh my fucking God, if I don't speak, I'm gonna... I actually hit stop recording on my OBS, I'm so sorry. Bro, I just like, why are you trying to introduce this many characters, try to get me to care about them, and then I, they're just, they're not, none of them are interesting. It's not even the fact that like, oh, they're cut this dialogue, whatever. I really, really just don't care. None of them have anything funny. Oh, this one dude, he's muscular, but he's got pink hair and he's funny. Oh, cool, sick. Oh, this one guy. Oh, he, uh, he, 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 he he's a, he's a coward, but oh, he, he finally runs and finally does something all oh, cool sick oh this one guy uh, a monster killed his family uh now he's gonna quit for revenge i don't care d and xx are the most interesting parts of this arc man so when you take them away from me it chafes my balls and it literally has uh, one of my tubes starts getting inflamed again i tell you what bro that nigga uh I, I don't even know what they call his name bro but that nigga that had xx in his closet bro that dude was a freaky frog listen listen <laughs> I, I, I don't know what he was doing down there but I know what I'd do if I had exes down there. You saw what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to take a little muscle relaxing, get some candles going, maybe get some baby oil. You saw what I'm saying? Put on some key sweat. Make it last forever. Don't let I love you. know what I mean? No. I'm so sorry, I, dude. I, what? Bro, we barely see the Rangers in this nest. Now, I actually I asked a couple people on Twitter. I was like, hey, because uh, people were like, oh, a Go Go Loser Rangers, the best anime of this, uh, one of the best animes this season. They got like Kaiju Number Eight, a uh, Windbreaker, Mushoku Tensei, and Go Go Loser Ranger. And I was like, hold on, hold on, that player. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You told me the first couple episodes, yeah, you got it, but now, no, 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 no. And I asked a couple people on Twitter. I was like, hey, I was like this ramp up. Does it get better? And a lot of people are actually like. Yes, this is actually the weakest and worst part of the manga, which I mean, I, I would certainly hope that's true because here's the there's a lot of people are saying that they are f***ing this adaptation up as previously mentioned. And I mean, I gotta say, man, I mean, that's tough. It really is because we barely see the Rangers anymore. Aside from the Blue Ranger, who's obviously fight patroller now. Pfft. I'm just very frustrated, man. I'm just very frustrated. I, I really had high hopes for this show. I really had high hopes that this show would satisfy me because we're kind of coming up on a dry season of anime, uh, unfortunately, for the next like couple months or whatever like that. I know they're saying solo leveling season two might be coming out at the end of this year. I have no idea how true that is, but like a lot of your main, like heavy, 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 heavy hitters are already like wrapping up, and so like. One Punch Man Season 3 might come next year. I have no idea. We do have Daima at the end of this year, though, so that's cool. Also, I might make a video on Link Click. I've actually started watching that. That show is fantastic. But anyway, man, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think on Go Go Loser Ranger, man, because, like, I just, there's so, there's so much promise in this show, and I'm, I might try to hold out. I might try to make it past this arc. I might, because I do think Exus is interesting. I think the monsters are interesting. I like D as a protagonist. I wish they didn't gut some of his, like, funnier moments. So, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I've, I, uh, Spare Mango has said that this manga is some gas, so I don't know. Y'all can take it up with him and ask me his opinion. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, it's me, boy, Daffy, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Let me know what you guys think of uh, about the Go-Go Loser Ranger. Am I tripping? Am, am, am I tripping? Did I lie to y'all? Or is it still is it still good? I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm curious. But, uh, yeah, it's me, boy, Daffy, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video, and I will see you in the next video. Y'all make sure to take care of yourselves, guys, and have a good one. Peace.